Oh. <laughs> Hey everyone, I was just waiting for Nephi because he was going to show you how to gather a skirt. But he had a little incident with one of his kids, so they are taking care of that right now. So I didn't want to just let you wonder where the heck we went. But So we're switching things around a little bit. This is called, <laughs> let's make this work, right? Okay, so Nephi says he will be on Thursday at noon instead of today. And I was going to be on Thursday giving you some tips for the serger. So if it's all right with you, I'll switch it around a little bit. How's that? <laughs> you never know what's going to happen in the live world, right? So in the meantime, we are live streaming on Brother So's YouTube and Facebook pages. I'm very happy to see you. I'm Angela Wolf, Brother Brand Ambassador, and it is fantastic to be here. So for those of you that joined me live yesterday, it was pouring snow in Michigan and now the sun's out. You know, you just got to love it. One day <laughs> I have to have like the parka on and today I'm ready to wear a short to run outside. So you got to love it. All right. So since it's just us hanging out today, I have the serger behind me. Did you see last week when I threaded it? Because I received a ton of messages of people saying, is it really that easy? Yeah, it's really that easy. And it sounds like a lot of you purchased it because I saw you sign up for the master class. So since Nephi was going to work on gathering, why don't I show you how to gather on the serger? Did you know it can do that? Yeah, it's very easy to do. So first, I'll just make sure. <laughs> Arnell's like, yes, okay, more information on the serger. Perfect. Is there anything you want to see on it? Because it's kind of your show now today. Since Nephi's going to show up on Thursday at noon, you're stuck with me. <laughs> okay, Julie, anything I come up with is good? Oh, you never know. Well, I really wanted to make a top. I should just start finishing that orange top behind me. One day someone said, I just wish I could hang out in your studio for like a whole week and watch what happens. Oh gosh, you'd be very busy. <laughs> hey, Patty, you like your serger? Deborah says, can you show threading again. I can do that. You know, maybe this time I'll actually turn the machine on. How's that? You've never gathered on the serger. All right, so I have an idea. I'll, so, I'll show you how to thread again, and I'm going to show you how to gather since that's what he was going to do. I don't know if he was going to do it on the serger or the sewing machine, but we'll make it work. All right, so I'll take you over here. How about, yeah, that looks like a good angle. I'm just going to move this around just a little bit so you can see it. I was actually using this. Wasn't planning on showing you it. But good thing my table's like somewhat clean, right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. I know everything in my studio has wheels, so I can move it around and make things work. All right. So you wanted to see it thread again. Well, at least this time I turned it on. So let me open this. Try not to trip. And I'll go ahead and cut these threads and show you this again. You can thread in any order, by the way. Flip this up. Pull these out. There we go. All right, so if you look up top, here are my threads. I have four different colors. I don't really think you need to see the needles again. You can go back to last week's show if you want to see that. But the loopers are what makes everyone go, ooh, that's amazing. So slide it through here and then down. But the first thing you have to do, see this hand wheel? Nope, you don't. Here you go. See the hand wheel? And this button right here. So slide this down. That means that you're going to thread, going to. Click this back until you hear the click. So if you missed that last week about the click, you'll laugh because I was like, why isn't it threading? I haven't used this since June. Well, because you have to have the click, the special click. And if you have the serger, all you have to do is register it on Brother's site and you'll have access to the master class, which is 14 weeks of hanging out sewing and surging, surging actually, with Kathy Gandy and Kathy Stipe and I. And one of them kept saying, I think it was Kathy Stipe, kept saying, just wait for the click. And that's all you'll think about. All right, back to the machine. 
and you'll grab, I usually go, I don't know, six to 10 inches of thread, depending on what you're using. And I'm at a weird angle here, so let me switch sides. Slide it into the here. It's like where I'm trying to lean over the camera and get the thread into the hole. This could be a game. All right, slide it in enough, push the button, and it comes out over here. That's how easy it is. All right, I'll do the other one. Thread. I'll try to keep my arms out of your way. All right, give yourself six to 10 inches of thread, slide it into the hole. Yeah, someone asked me last week, they said, are you serious? You can really do it this easy. Well, as long as you remember to turn the hand wheel for the click, yes, it is. And then I did this again on my live show, which is what, last Wednesday, and I forgot to turn the machine on. So batting, third time's the charm, third time is the charm. <laughs> There's my thread right here. Yay, and I've already threaded the needles. So just a couple quick things here. Here's my little book, my book, my box of items. So for gathering, again, I don't know if Nephi was gonna use a sewing machine or a serger, but I would probably use a serger on this one. Here's the foot. So you have a piece of metal right here. One piece of fabric goes underneath and one goes through here. The trick is though, adjusting your differential feed. So now that the machine is threaded, and I mentioned before, let me just bring this down here for you. Just one sec, one of my cameras is blinky. It's not even Friday. I don't think it's going to behave today, so. All right, we'll just use the one. Again, this is absolute total impromptu because I wasn't even supposed to be on here. <laughs> All right, so don't forget about your manual. And I have to use this all the time. So if I sc scroll to the back here, depending on what language you're reading, I'll bring. There's a whole section back here. I don't even know if you realize it's there. A lot of people don't pay any attention to the manual. They get to like the first two pages and they're like, okay, I'm done. Well, in the back here, it's almost like a great surging library that you probably don't even realize you have. So if you go through all of these, you'll see there's pearls, there's gathering, there's piping. Hi, Wynn. <laughs> there's um, all these shows you how to do a blind hem, flat lock. So go through, it says it's chapter eight, introductory of, uh, introduction of optional feet, starting on page 30. So keep that in mind. And it's very easy to follow along. All right. So, and what do you have on page 35? The gathering foot. And if you lose your manual, the best part of brother is you can go to their website and download it which I usually do and I'll punch holes in it and put it in my surging book. So it tells me, there's my foot, preparation, uh, machine settings, and this is the big thing. What is your machine settings? So you need two needle, four thread overlock stitch, or one needle, three thread overlock stitch. Either needle can be used. So you have all those options. So why would you pick between a four thread and a three thread? Well, mostly for the width that you want, but the strength four thread is a little stronger than a three thread. And then it shows you right here of everything to do. All right, so. Bring you back over here. Before I put on that, I want to do a test stitch for this. So you're gonna lift this back up here. Now I was playing with this machine a lot recently, so let me make sure I have all my settings in the right spot.
I'm just going to put on the standard foot here and let's just do a surged edge and make sure that it even, that we're even surging. All right, there's the foot. Let's get that in place. There we go. It's just a little snap in the back to get that. This is back up. Stitch finger engaged or disengaged. Make sure you have it where you need it. And then you have your knife engaged or disengaged. So don't forget about all of those. And then last week we were actually talking about the two thread, which is right here. I'll bring you in a little closer. The two thread, it's just this little setting right here, which we're not using for this. But I know on the Brother Live show last week, I did not point that out. I was so distracted by the stitch finger. All right, so this is up. I'm gonna put all my settings to four. Close this. And feel free to ask your questions as we go through here. Someone just asked about the classes. Yeah, so if you purchase this serger, the classes are free. All you have to do is register your machine and you'll have access. It's 14 weeks. Each week a new class opens. So bring this a little closer so my foot pedal can reach. And go ahead and look what happens when the handle's up. The foot pedal's up, the red light goes on. You can't surge. I love that feature. All right, let's see what it's looking like. It looks pretty good. So this is just a regular surged edge. Get to the end. I had somebody ask me the other day, can you actually surge corners? Yes. So once your needle goes just off the fabric, lift your needles in the up position, lift your presser foot up, give it a little tug and turn the corner. I think people forget that these needles can go up and down. You don't just have to do a straight line. Most people use this to finish the edges. Now, again, I'm using two different <laughs> colors of thread just so you can see everything, and I'm using a three needle. Now I'm just gonna surge off. I just noticed something about this serger that I did not notice earlier. Uh, it's very, it's much quieter than the last brother serger. Okay, take a look. Look at how nice that corner looks. So I stitch to the end, make sure your needle goes just off the edge, lift your presser foot up, give the thread just a little tug and then turn your fabric. Very nice. All right, so for the gathering, Grab one more piece of fabric here. I wish you could be a fly on the wall. <laughs> okay, I'll just cut this a little bit. So what's the main thing you're gonna change in order to make the gathers? Well, on the side, you have your stitch length and your differential feed. So I'm gonna go by memory here, but Typically, I will change the differential feed, which will allow those feed dogs to move a little faster on the bottom piece of fabric than they do on the top. So for this, it says to set the stitch length to three, which is right here. So you'll see a little white knob here. Let's mark it at three, which three is basically standard. Set the differential feed to two. So there's one and there's two. Just turn the knob and there's a little plastic knob or kind of a notch to match up there. Set the stitch width to five, which it's normally on five. I mean, that's the standard. So I don't know if yours is normally on five, but mine is. And adjust the other settings, which would be all of these here. One, two, three, four. Set all of these to number four, which is just your standard setting for a three thread or four thread overlock. All right, so it also says if you want to adjust the amount of fabric gathered, and this is what I mentioned right away, is you can adjust this from two to one, and depending on your fabric will depend how much it will gather. So 
This is the main knob that you have to keep in mind. This is your differential feed. Say that fast three times. It says do not pull or stretch the fabric while you're gathering. So keep that in mind as well. Noted in the brother manual. All right, so let's change our foot. Just push the button in the back. When I do that, what happens? Oh, the little red light goes on, meaning no sewing, no surging for you at this point. Here's the other one. Slide this in. Let's get this little lever out of the way. There we go. I'm just like doing this over the camera, which if I was doing it not live, it would go on in just a second. <laughs> okay, so you have two pieces of fabric. This is just muslin fabric. I like to get the bottom piece started. So remember, there's the piece of metal here. So you have one piece that goes underneath and one piece that goes through the middle. Okay. Get started with the first piece. You can actually see it gather just a little bit there to bring you this way, just a smidge. And ask your questions away because when I'm finished, I'll come and answer your questions on the serger. All right, now I'm going to slide, now that I know that that's captured, I'm going to slide this second piece through right between the two metal pieces right here. So one piece is below the foot touching the feed dogs. This piece here is right in between the two pieces of metal. And I keep the knife engaged because I can trim off the fabric as I'm doing this. Now, if you watch what's happening, the bottom piece, look at how much faster it's going through. These were the same length, by the way. I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging. You might have to use your hand to guide this bottom piece a little bit. And I've run out of fabric on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this machine is so quiet. Yes, I'm a brand, brother brand ambassador, but I haven't used it much and I'm just loving that. Sergers are usually so loud. And look at the gathers. How easy is that? So I heard a rumor that it's National Picnic Week this coming up. How fun would this be out of two different fabrics to have a gathered piece in the middle. Now, I'm just playing with extra pieces of fabric here, but why don't we do another layer? So if I want whatever piece you want to have gathered, have on the bottom. So why don't I gather another piece and let's make our own fabric. This would make such a cute like picnic, I would say like, I don't know, a napkin or placemat. You know, I'm big into placemats. Ever since COVID hit, I want my table to look cute since I was eating at home all the time. Okay, let's take this, get it started, and I'm just gonna grab, let me just cut one more piece here. I've got all this scrap fabric hanging around. Might as well use it. So again, this is not a project, it's just to show you a tutorial. All right. Here we go. So that's the piece that's gonna be gathered, the one on the bottom. See that okay? And then slide this piece in. And you can see the bottom piece is feeding faster than the top piece. I'm not pulling it. I'm just guiding both pieces. And once I run out of fabric on the bottom, surge this off. And now look, I've got let me bring this out a little bit. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> so now look. Now I'm just using extra pieces of fabric. If you had these all lined up straight, you'd have gathers. This piece is gathered. Give it a nice press. Two flat pieces. You could do this. I think we actually did this in the class where you've got little short pieces. One piece that's gathered, one piece that's not. In fact, I've got to show you this piece. Now I made this years ago, but it kind of resembles what I just showed you. You want to jazz up that a little bit? Okay, check this out. 
I have pillows all over my office. Why? I don't know, but here you go. Check this out. All done with the serger. All of this was gathered. This is like a, a satin, like a satin crepe or something like that. So again, you have the solid piece on top. This piece was gathered just like I just showed you, even though I'm using like just some extra fabric laying around. This piece was solid. Then I attached the gathering and then I have the bottom piece. So what I usually start with, because the pieces are typically double. So I'll, I'll typically have the piece that I want straight and double the next piece. I don't know the exact math because depending on your fabric, it might scooch through a little faster or slower. So just, that's a good guess, by the way. And I believe, if I'm thinking correctly, there's either a blog on Brother Sews, or maybe it was on the show that Brother sponsored, which was It So Easy, where I did a cute little t-shirt, cut off the t-shirt and added cotton to the bottom and made the cutest dress for my nieces. So, so this is the gathering. Do you have any questions on that? I'll go through and answer these, but to give you a little idea what else your serger can do, which I'm not showing you today, but I can later. There's a blind hem. And with the blind hem, I ran ribbon through there. Isn't that cute? So this whole pillow was done on the serger. I have another one. Pin tucks, all done with the serger. This is silk dupioni. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love dupioni. So these are all little pin tucks done with the serger. Again, we show you how to do those in the master class. So if you have the serger, just register your machine, you'll have access to the class. Again, here's another blind hem, but this is kind of with the ladder stitch. So the ladder stitch is a little bigger, and then I ran ribbon through. Oh my gosh, there's so many fun things. Now, those would work for a picnic too, because if I was going on a picnic, I would want to take a nap. So cheers to National Picnic Day, which is coming up in a few days. <laughs> yeah, it does, Christine. A broomstick pillow. So these are this basically started with just playing with the fabrics. And the back of the manual there, gathering fabrics, pin tucks, so many other things. All right, so any questions for me? And for those of you that popped in later, Nephi will be joining us on Thursday. He just had some things that came up, and so I couldn't just let you hang out by yourself. So I happened to have the serger here, <laughs> and I thought, well, I was going to do that on Thursday. Why don't I do it today? Can you gather both pieces of fabric? Not at the same time. So the top piece, Marsha, because the top piece is going through those two pieces of metal, there's nothing to help that gather. So just the bottom piece touches the feed dogs. And then that differential feed makes the feed dogs go faster, which makes those go faster than your piece of fabric that's just sliding through. Now, if you don't want the gathers to be quite like that much, you can adjust that differential feed and make it a little less. It is like puffing for heirloom sewing. <laughs> oh, it would look great like that, Barbara. I agree, I agree. Piecing fabrics together, Helen, absolutely. Helen, you put, um, you put the, oh, I, I see what you meant. <laughs> Pricing the fabric or piecing the fabric? You put the piece that you want to gather on the bottom, always on the bottom and you want right sides of your fabric together. So whatever piece you want gathered goes on the bottom, right sides together, because then when you open it, the right sides are facing up. Yes, they do, Zena. These settings work on the Brother 1034D because I've used it on there. So all you have to do is have that foot, which I believe, depending on where you bought it from, came with that. Same thing. Thanks for asking that too. <laughs> hey, Ann, you can come and hit my grass, too. I don't know what happened in the last three days, but it's, like, so high. <laughs> oh, there you go. They're going to love that project, definitely. <laughs> Great to see you, Marianne. And Barbara. Hey, Mary, I miss them, too. Don't forget, Cindy has a live show on um, Tuesdays, which is today. 
So don't forget, she has a live show. I have one on Wednesday. And Joanne does one once a month now, too, on YouTube. So check those out as well. So Margie, or Margie, Margie or Margie, not sure which one, how, what you go by. This is the Airflow 3000. This is the new air threading serger. I don't know if that's the correct terminology. It's the Airflow. So it is the easiest serger to thread. It's brand new. You can call your brother dealer to get information on it. Even if you don't have a local dealer, just call the one closest to you. Or if you have a favorite, there's an idea too. Just a favorite one. Thanks, Esther, for answering that for Ginny. Yeah, if you have the serger, make sure you register it because you'll have a link right to class. And the class is 14 weeks. It includes patterns. We got the leggings, we have some garment patterns, and then some other fun things like pillowcases, uh, table decorations, <laughs> so many different things. Oh, there you go, Patty. The Brother Support app is great to find other things as well. Oh, thanks, Julie. All right, any other questions for me? That was like a quick tutorial that was totally not planned, and it worked. I used to always say I'm never using a serger live. Not true, not true. Is it standard on all sergers to thread number three first, then four? It doesn't matter, Ellen, on this one. You can put them in any order. It doesn't matter. And for the needles especially. I've never had a problem on any serger. You just thread them both. It's not like you're surging and then adding another one. No, Marion, the, the needles have an automatic threader. Would you like to see that? Uh, Esther, did you go online and register it? And is it available overseas? Uh, no, it's available on Brother. But if you email me, I can try to get you some information if it changes. So Esther, if you have that serger, the air thread, make sure you contact Brother because you should be able to get into this class. It came with a serger right now. I mean, now if you're watching this five years from now, maybe not, but as of April, 2023. There you go, Caroline, great to see you. Great to see you. All right, I'm gonna scroll down. I will show you how to thread the needles. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any other. Was there a brother show last Thursday? No, Marsha, I don't, no. There's only been shows on Tuesdays, every Tuesday at noon, and every once in a while we throw in a Thursday. So that'll be this Thursday with Nephi, <laughs> showing his gathered skirt since he couldn't make it today. Eight days to retirement. Oh, Patty, you're going to be binge watching. Uh, yeah, Ellen. So the surgery class is with that machine. It was specifically made with the machine. We did it last summer. Oh, Esther, okay, I'll double check. I didn't. I don't look at my PMs, but I will double check because I must have missed your message. Thank you for letting me know. I know it is beautiful. All right, any other questions? I'll show you how to thread the needles. And then Marianne says, yes, please. <laughs> All right, Lady Fair, you started the surgery class. You need to finish them. Well, a new class opens every single week for 14 weeks, and the class is open for a year. After that, you can purchase additional years if you want to, but every class is a one-year subscription. Jody, hey, Jody, I was just thinking of you too, by the way. I owe you a message because I have a few things for you. But the shirt I'm wearing, I did make. It's the Rouge Tee, and the fabric is not on my website. I um, actually made this quite a few years ago. It's an Italian knit. I love it. So thank you, by the way. But it's the Rouge Tea, super easy to make, all made on the serger, of course. Yes, it is. The needle threader is just like that. Well, no, it's not like that, Lady Fair. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> Before I say the wrong thing. No, no, no. I was thinking you had said the other serger, the, um, the other serger that the needle threader is just like is the Brother 5234PRW. That's the serger that I've used before. This one came out, which was Brothers. So let me just show you, because I think I actually surged with the right needle in and didn't have any thread in there. Obviously, it worked out fine, but here, let me just bring this up. 
bring you in a little closer. Now, again, I haven't changed anything. I can thread this at any time. I'm gonna lift up the foot. I'm going to take this foot off. Slide it out. That's how easy you can get these on and off. And give this just a little tug. All right. Everything's threaded. I just didn't want that chain on there for right now. I'll open this so you can maybe see a little better. So see this knob right here? This is your left needle or your right needle, one or the other. So if you're threading the left needle, you want it here. If you're threading the right needle, go here. All right, let me just make sure I've got the right. I'm just gonna cut this other needle out of there, the thread, so I don't get confused of which one's which. Okay. Look up here. There's the left needle. Go down. You just follow the arrows right here. Up around. Let's do the left needle first. And I do need to make sure that my needles are in the up position. So on the side, I'll just go ahead and hit that hand wheel. I could either put this down where it clicks or put the hand wheel where I see that the lines match up. All right. Down through here. And then let's go in here. Woo! There you go. There's a close up. In this little spot here. In here, give it a little tug. And then you'll cut it on the side and then push this button. Bring you around the side here. So you can see what I'm pushing. Right here. And then if you look closely, it's threaded. There's always just a little loop that shows up, so I just gotta pull that out. And the needle's threaded. That's, a, that's how easy it is. So let me show you the other one. Back you up a little bit here. All right, here's the purple. I just kind of mixed these threads up so I could just watch how everything worked. Down, right through here. See the little lines here? There's green. Make sure you go through this metal piece down here. Right through here, right through here. Give it a tug and cut the thread. Now move this to the right side. That means the right needle. And the right needle is threaded. Just get that loop off of there. That's how easy. Yes, so that is how simple it is. Now, if you missed the full threading last week, I kind of just did the whole thing again today, but I did that last week on Brother's Show too. All right. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Zena. <laughs> oh, talk about prepared for the unexpected. I wasn't even planning on being on here at all, except to show Nephi off. So I'm thank you for joining me. And by the way, who doesn't want to learn about the serger? I sat here and I thought, hmm, what could I show you that you would love to learn? Well, the serger. And if you have another brother serger, what I just showed you about gathering, you can watch again. So if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to the brother channel. If you, oh, and you can go back and watch the video anytime, you just have to go under live videos. So when you go to Brother's YouTube channel or mine, anybody's YouTube channel, it'll say videos and then live. Make sure you go to the live or you'll miss all the good stuff. It is easy. And Marianne, you're thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Dolly, uh, when you want only one needle, do you need to remove the needle or leave it in as you sew? Well, I accidentally left it in because I didn't even realize I did that. But typically, you want to take it out. You just don't want the thread to get caught on a needle that you're not using. Especially if you're using a narrow overlock, you definitely want to take that left needle out or you could end up with holes in your fabric. Make sense? <laughs> hey, Kay. Great to see you. Oh, Patty, I'll tell you what, I'm loving that needle threader. <laughs> the glasses go on, off, on, off. 
Is it hard to figure out what to put the tensions on? So Ginny, no. In fact, the, the manual gives you tips for that. If you go through the manual, there's like a little chart that tells you like rolled hem, uh, pin tuck, any of this stuff, gathering. Uh, it'll tell you exactly what, and the tensions are actually used for different things. Typically, if you're just surging, it's usually on four all the way across. But if you're using difficult fabrics, maybe knits, things like that, you might need to change it a little bit. But if you, a great tip for you, I might have this, I think I either have this video on Brothers YouTube or my own YouTube channel, where you put in four different colors of thread of different colors. So say you surge and the stitch doesn't look that great. <laughs> Run it through with all those different colors, then you'll know exactly which one isn't looking very good. So maybe we'll have to plan a couple surging lessons with some troubleshooting. But for those of you that have the airflow, make sure you go into class because we did a whole troubleshooting section in there as well. All right, any other questions? I'll let you all go because uh, this was really fun just popping in. Thanks for uh, the impromptu, everyone. <laughs> you got to love it when the impromptu works, right? Oh, you're welcome. Do I have another serger master class in your arsenal? Well, uh, Ellen, I do have three serging classes using the previous brother machine and the brother cover stitch machine on my academy. It's not related to brother, but if you go to AngelaWolf.com and click on academy, there's three. How to serge, decorative serging that teaches you all these, and also the cover stitch, which it uses the Brother double cover stitch machine. Now, this is not sponsored by Brother, but it's on my site. And as a Brother brand ambassador, I'm using all Brother machines. So you can find them there. And uh, those classes are lifetime classes. So you might like those. <laughs> all right, anything else? My alarm just went off. So by the way, for those of you popped in late, Nephi will be joining us on Thursday at noon since he wasn't able to join us today. And um, I'm glad I got to hang out with you for a little bit. Brother, thanks for letting us take over your page. <laughs> and thanks for the fabulous serger. So I could actually just pop in with like totally impromptu. Okay, what do you got for me? Is there a stitch that mimics a serger stitch? So okay, there is. Um, well, it kind of mimics more... Does anybody know what it's called? It's on the Luminaire. Well, it's on a lot of different brother machines. I'll try to look it up, Kay, and I'll post, I'll bring the info on Thursday when Nephi's here on the show at noon. Because because there's two or three that look just like a surge stitch. You can also do an overlock stitch on your sewing machine. It doesn't cut the thread, although that's a whole different topic. But if you're just sewing with a standard foot, you can finish the edges where they look really nice. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Oh, Jody, you asked me. Yes, my needle insertion tool is available. And I probably didn't click off the draft. So it is on my website. Um, a big note. Jody, I've got you in my head. Make sure it's up there. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, you're welcome, Fran. And it's so great to see you all. So I'll make sure there aren't any last minute questions. Um, Yes, Caroline, there are. I can't think of the numbers, though. So if you think of the numbers, Caroline, dump them in here. Not dump them, but just drop them in here in the comments. The overcast stitch, that's a good one. So, okay, if you have a quilt and sew machine, you definitely have. I don't know which one you have, but you definitely have, I would say, at least two, if not way more, stitches for that. Overcast. Okay, I don't, I'm not familiar with that one off the top of my head. <laughs> Brother, you're so good. They're always like covering me for everything I think of. Oh, Joe, so anybody who has a luminaire, Caroline, you are on it. 1-17, 1 1-18, 1 and 1-19. So check your machine for that. And I'll, okay, I'll try to take a photo of those and bring it with us on Thursday so you can see if you have that on your machine. Sound good? And there are more. <laughs> all right everyone well again i'm sorry that nephi wasn't here to show you how to gather a skirt but hey you got me and i showed you how to gather on the serger so i will look forward to having nephi on on thursday and he's gonna look forward to it as well so all of you thank you for being here brother thank you for letting us take over your page until next time happy sewing or